Today is historic. This is a very significant day in the Chinese American community. It is an expression that discrimination has no place in our society and that the promise of equality is available to all. This is only the fourth such apology in the last 25 years. In 1988, President Reagan signed the bill apologizing for the Japanese American internment during World War II. In 1993, Congress apologized to Hawaiians for the U.S.-led overthrow of their monarchy. In 2008, the House issued an apology to African Americans on behalf of the people of the United States for the wrongs committed against them and their ancestors who suffered under slavery and Jim Crow. This bill was a huge undertaking requiring the efforts of Chinese Americans and their supporters all across the nation. Without the dedication of countless community organizations and grassroots advocates from across the country, none of this would have happened. I thank them and I thank all the Congress members from both sides of the aisle, including the 50 co-sponsors of the bill, and especially Chairman Lamar Smith for their support. Thank you, and I yield back the balance of my time. The lady yields back, gentleman from Texas. And Mr. Speaker, I'll yield back the ba balance of my time as well. The question is, will the House suspend the <coughs> rules and agree to House Resolution 683? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the resolution is agreed to, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table.